Hey Royals, it's Danielle. Welcome back to our Royally Chosen YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. Today we are going to be doing a wash and restyle of Frozen One Elsa inspired wig. I'm so excited to show you guys this. It is so fun to restyle wigs and I can't wait for you guys to come along on the journey. So let's get started. All right, so here is our Elsa before. I'm so excited for her to be nice and clean and polished. This is a fairy tale base wig in case you're wondering. The first step we're going to do today is we're going to rinse out our sink with soap and water, just making sure that it's nice and sanitized before you put any beautiful wigs in your sink. We're gonna need two combs, a wide tooth comb and a styling comb, and just place the wig on the head and just go ahead and undo everything and brush out with the styling comb any sort of teasing or hairspray that may be stuck in the wig before you go ahead and wash it. It will make it much easier to wash when everything is combed out. And once we're all done brushing, I went ahead and filled my sink up with warm water, not too hot as it can damage the fibers of the wig. You wanna be really careful. Next, I make sure the wig is completely immersed in the water and we're gonna let it soak for 30 minutes. After that, we're gonna go ahead and wring out the wig and you'll see the water start to get a little bit murky. That's because there was a lot of hairspray in it. And I take an aloe base shampoo. You wanna make sure you find a shampoo that is safe for your wigs. And I wash out the wig thoroughly as well as the inside of the cap where the actresses may sweat or there may be makeup residue there. And then I just go ahead and rinse out the wig very thoroughly and we're gonna set it on the table to dry. Now that our wig is damp and not soaking wet, I'm going to take my styling comb and very gently just continue to get out some of the teasing that was on the top of the wig. And then I'm going to take in my leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna put it all over the wig and then very, very gently, I'm going to brush out the bottom of the wig where the wig would be braided with my wide tooth comb. You don't wanna to brush too aggressively because when your wig is wet, you can stretch out the fibers. So you wanna be really careful. Then we're gonna let this sit for 30 minutes. And then when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and rinse out the wig really thoroughly and then we'll be getting on to the next step. And after letting our wig dry for a little bit, we're gonna take it over to a wig head and let it drip dry. I would definitely suggest putting some kind of towel down on the floor or else your floor will get soaking wet. And we're just gonna let it drip dry for about four to six hours, however long you have. And once we're all done with that, we're gonna take our wide tooth comb and we're gonna just brush through it again. And your wig at this point should be just a little bit damp, not too wet at all. And we're just gonna continue to brush out with our styling comb the top of the wig and as you can see, literally just from washing this wig, the fibers of the hair look so much softer and so smooth and I just, I love how bouncy it looks already. After this, I'm going to just cut off a little bit of the ends. This is definitely optional. Then I take a serum and I go ahead and put this just all over the wig just to make it look healthy. And even though wigs can't necessarily get split ends, there's definitely a lot of wear at the bottom of my wig. And so when I put the serum in, it just makes it look brand new and very healthy. All right, good morning from Arendelle. Now we're going to brush out the wig one more time. As you can see, the bottom of the wig looks fabulous. It looks so nice, it's gotten to set with the serum. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten the whole back of the wig. Please make sure that your wig can take the amount of heat that you will put on it. Wherever you buy your wig, it should tell you how much heat is allowed to be used on the wig. So always check or else you will literally burn your wig. Now comes the fun part of styling. So I'm literally just going to French braid the back of the wig. Um, if you need a tutorial on how to French braid, let me know. I will definitely post one. Um, but basically I'm going to French braid it at an angle going towards the left because it's going to wrap around the 
our left as we're watching this video side of the head. So rather than going straight down, I'm definitely going to start wrapping it a little bit to the left as you can see. And once we're getting to the end of the braid here, we wanna make sure we're taking bigger chunks of hair because once you're done with your braid, you don't want it to be too tight. You wanna be able to pull out the hair from the wig so that you can hide the actress's baby hair. So what I do here is I just start to pull out and make the braid really loose because if you don't, this will look like a wig on your actress rather than looking like her hair. And the more hair that you pull out and you're able to hide any baby hairs or fallaways from the actress, the better. So I really like to have a lot of hair on both sides to make sure that I can really hide any hair from the actress. All right, this is called a back combing brush. This literally saved my life for styling. And if you don't think that you need a back combing brush, you're kidding yourself because when I got this brush, it completely changed the game for me. So basically what you can do with a back combing brush is you can literally tease your entire wig and then brush over the teasing as you can see so i'm i'm teasing out my whole wig so that it just has a lot of volume elsa needs a lot of volume but then you can brush over the teasing and it will look smooth and when i first started restyling my wigs i would do this with just a regular styling comb the one that you saw me brush everything out with and it just did not work. It did not look beautiful or professionally done. And this has definitely changed the game for me. So make sure that you go out and buy some kind of back combing brush because it just makes everything so much easier. So here we go. We're just gonna continue to back comb the entire Elsa piece. Now, if your Elsa wig has already come styled and you're just restyling it, then your Elsa wig should be cut where you have a couple of pieces on both sides, little swoopies, and then you have the big like swoop on top for Elsa's. So we're just gonna back comb all of those different cuts and then just kind of start to style it as we go. All right guys, I'm back. I like to have you guys just watch for a little bit because I don't know about you, but I'm a visual learner. So I love to watch people restyle, but I wanna tell you about these white bobby pins I found from Amazon. So when I first started princessing, I literally used to pin the Elsa wig to my actresses with brown bobby pins. I know, I know what you're thinking. How did you do it? I don't know. Somehow I hid them, but it was not easy and it was so frustrating. So I found these white bobby pins from Amazon and they're amazing. I'll have them in the description below because everyone needs to have them if you have any kind of white wig because wow, do they work and they just look beautiful in the wig. So much easier to hide. Right guys, we're almost done with this wig. One of the last steps we do is I take my styling comb again and the back part which has the pick and I'm just gonna kind of pick up at the back combing that we did with all of that teasing so that I get the full volume that I want on the wig. Then I take the comb part and I'm just kind of combing out the rest of the wig very lightly if there's any like knots or anything just to make it look smooth. And I tuck in the back part of the bump it on top of Elsa, I guess you could call it, into the braid so that it looks like one fluid motion going through the wig so it doesn't look like any part is separated from it. And then we're just going to spray the wig once we're done with the combing and we're done guys. Thank you. 
everybody, that's the end of our video. I hope that you enjoyed it and learned something. If you did like this video, please give it a big thumbs up as well as comment down below something that you maybe learned from this video. And one last thing before we go, I am wearing our official Royally Chosen Productions merch. On the back of it, it's got some affirmations, if you can see. I love these shirts, they're so nice. If you would like one, please go ahead and let us know. You can email us at royallychosenproductions at gmail.com and we would love to send you one. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we will see you next time. Bye.